welcome to another video from Frog Lane Studio. So today we're going to be looking at green stuffing purity seals. We all know that the Emperor's Finest love nothing more than adorning themselves head to foot in these purity seals. So you can imagine my consternation when I went into our local games workshop to pick up the brand new Space Marine Assault Intercessors starter paint set. And none of these guys had any, so well, uh, let's go ahead and get that fixed for them. So let's get into this. You're going to need your model, a bit of green stuff, obviously not the whole amount, but uh, just uh, enough that you're going to need, a pair of tweezers, your plastic bag, um, a scalpel, and then a couple of sculpting tools as well. So first things first, we're just going to get that green stuff, only enough that you're going to need. Um, we're just going to flatten it down onto the plastic bag and then wrap the plastic bag over. So the more thick the plastic bag is going to be, the better it's going to be for yourself because the less it's going to warp out. Grab yourself a, a Sharpie as well for a rolling pin. Not necessarily a Sharpie, but anything. And uh, we're going to roll that flat. You want it to be about an inch thick. Now, once it is nice and flat, we're going to unravel the plastic bag. And now we're going to cut those purity seals to size. So you're wanting these probably a couple of mil thick. And we're just going to uh, get enough that we're going to need. I'm going to do four or five strips on here just to make sure that everything's A-OK -okay on there. Once we've done that, we're going to cut them to length. So you just want to trim off the one side and then flip it around and trim out the other. Now we have our blank purity seals ready to go. I'm grabbing an old iPhone case here, but you're just wanting something that you can put these blank purity seals onto that's not the table, something that you can move about. So taking it off the plastic bag, and now we're done with that plastic bag. So once we've done that and the uh, purity seals are separated, it's time to put it onto the model. So grab yourself your model, and ever so carefully, I'm going to be putting these onto the shoulder pad you want to be using your fingers as little as possible with this so that you're not getting any uh, thumbprints on there. So I'm just maneuvering it about with the tweezers just to get it into uh, position. Once you've got it into position, then flatten it down onto the model itself. So it's just the end that the, uh, the purity seal is going to be attached to. I've decided to go for two here, so we're going to get our next one and pop that onto the model as well. Being very careful once again to use our fingers as little as possible. So once that's in position we're going to tamp that down again just at the point that the actual kind of wax part attaches to the model and then we're just going to press that down with the tweezers. Once it's in place it's time to switch over to the uh, sculpting tools so I'm using the bladed part here and I'm just maneuvering it about. I don't want too much green stuff on the shoulder pad itself where the uh, where it connects. Once that's happened, we're going to use a, another part of the sculpting tool here. This is just a flat edge. And we're pressing those uh, the parchment paper of the purity seal down. We're wanting it to flow nicely over the shoulder pads there and the arm there. This one I'm, I'm looking at having it just flowing over the shoulder pad and then underneath the recess. So once we've got them, once we're happy with where the parchment paper is, we're now going over to the actual purity seal itself. So a small blob of green stuff and we're going to press that down into a nice flat circle shape. Now for the secret weapon, grab yourself a ballpoint pen and we're just going to press down into the center of that purity seal itself. This is going to give us a nice circular hole for the purity seal to go on. And now it's time to work that purity seal. So we're wanting the edges of the purity seal to be as thin as possible. You don't want thick edges on the purity seal. It's going to look more like a rosette and less like a purity seal itself. So the trick here is just using those sculpting tools to get it as flat and as round as possible with the edges of the purity seal being as thin as possible. So here you can see me just playing about with different tools to try and achieve that effect as much as possible. Now I'm happy with how that's done. 
I'm going to start trimming the uh, the parchment parts of the uh, purity seal. So I'm grabbing my scalpel back again and I'm just trimming around the edges here. Being careful not to damage any of the soft green stuff that we wanted to keep. And also being careful not to dig too much into the plastic itself because you're going to end up marking the plastic otherwise to the model. So we're just trimming around. I decided that the parchment paper on the right hand side was a little too thick so I'm getting my scalpel blade and once again just trimming that parchment paper down getting right into the cracks there not digging so hard that I'm going to start marking the plastic but just enough to uh, to cut the green stuff now it's just a case of getting that little bit of green stuff out I'm going to have a little bit of trouble here so I'm going to switch over to a pair of tweezers and just pull that out there we go we're almost there on this now. Just tidying up the edges. Getting that little bit of green stuff out in the middle there. Now, just tidying up the parchment paper. Trying to make it as smooth as possible. This is a nice flat tool. Also from Games Workshop as well. One of their sculpting tool ranges. And we're just going to go in smooth out that parchment paper trying to make it as nice and flat as possible and following the lines of the model itself and we're almost done once you're happy with it the purity seal part of the purity seal the wax part they normally have little cracks around the edges so I'm getting my scalpel blade here Oops, just drop model getting my scalpel blade here and I'm just gonna put some marks around the outside I'm putting them if it's a clock face at 12 3 6 and 9 and this just gives it a, an extra little bit of a, a realistic effect and there we go those are that's a purity seal fully done for us from start to finish it's important to recognize when the model itself is, is finished. So that's what we're doing here. Once you're happy with it, jobs are good. Un. And there we have it. One of the uh, Emperor's Finest, the Space Marine with completed purity seal. So once you're happy with it, you can do as many of these as you want to. Obviously, I would just say if you are doing more than one at a time, you need to be really careful if you're doing a purity seal on the other side of the model that you don't end up wrecking this one. So what I would say is just little and often. So do one, leave it to dry. And if you're working on another part of the model, then go ahead and do that one as well. But I think this one's looking pretty dapper. So this green stuff tutorial is going to be the first in a set of green stuffing tutorials. So please let me know in the comments or by message about any topics that you want me to cover. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please feel free to tell your friends about Frog Lane Studio, where in future episodes we'll be covering more hacks, hints, tips and tricks to ease your hobby woes. Uh, we are streaming every single weeknight from 7 till 8 p.m. BST on YouTube. So come and join us there. And if you do want to buy any of the Games Workshop products or any of the others, I'm now affiliated with Mighty Lancer Games, who give a massive 20% off most of the products in the range. If you have been finding the streams or videos useful at all, then I'd also like to mention the channel does have a Patreon page, link to which is just down below. And if you have learnt or enjoyed any of this, then all support is greatly appreciated as it allows me to continue what I'm doing, which is supporting you guys. Channel Patreons receive various benefits such as requesting tutorial content or hourly one-to-one -one hobby sessions with myself and we have a fantastic Discord community as well so you're more than welcome to join. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support me continue making these tutorials then feel free to have a look at the link below. In any case a massive thank you to my latest Patreons, Death Corpse Master, 
eater of cities, full circle, on a sanguineous, jeans and a shirt, Keith, loco dry dog, MDH, midget gems, Mogzy, Mr. Tumnus, not there but trying, original sin, past seven painting, Mr. and Mrs. Ritz and Bits, Mr. and Mrs. Monkey, Stephen 101, Sonorous, the secret paintbrush, Ryan, Venom, and of course, the ever indomitable Mrs. Frog. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and may you keep rolling sixes.